Welcome to Bisley, the famous rifle ranges. During the years leading up to war, depots such as Bisley and many others up and down the country were used as training depots, preparing soldiers for service overseas. Uh, these depots are still used for this purpose today. Drummer Thompson, uh, I'm looking at your uniform there, I can't help but notice in there are quite a lot of differences. I mean, mine here, it's khaki, service dress uniform. It's made of a thick woolen serge. I'm afraid it uh, is as uncomfortable as it looks. It's itchy, but it's durable. What about your uniform? Is it durable? Is it comfortable? Yeah, well, the thing with this here is when it gets wet and that, or it dries in quite quick. It's multi-terrain pattern, so you can use it in uh, many different places around the world. So you blend in with the scenery. We've got uh, pockets here on, our, on the sides of our legs for maps, um, carrying some med kit in. Um, we actually carry field dressings. You've, you've not got putties like me. I mean, these, they uh, might look uncomfortable. I'll tell you what, they're a pain to put on, but they have their uses. You know, support the calf when you're marching. Yeah. They stop stones, sticks, creepy crawlers getting into your boot. Yeah. And, uh, well, they stop your feet from getting wet, well, in theory, though. Yeah. If there's a deluge and you're stuck in a puddle for a while, yeah. then uh, your feet aren't going to be that secure from water. Yeah. But have you got any such protection from that? Yeah, well, we use uh, gaiters, so we do. Uh, they come over the, the, uh, the whole boot. They have zips on them. You can put them on, and it keeps your feet dry. Uh, if your feet do get wet, you now there's a half Gore-Tex socks. So if your feet do get wet, your boots get wet, you put, take your wet socks off, powder your feet, put the Gore-Tex socks on, Put them in your boots and you're good to go. We've your feet's got, dry and it's warm. We've not got such luxury. Uh, an old yeah. trick, some of the soldiers, they take their socks off and they put them in their uniforms under their armpits to keep them dry. But uh, those Gore-Tex socks, yeah. sounds like luxury. I can't help but noticing uh, you've not got any brass, so you ain't got to do much polishing, I'm guessing. Well, I think of relays from back in the day, and the brass, shiny things are combat indicators, like where the enemy's going to see you. So the enemy's going to know where you are with a shine. So that's why we don't have anything now. Shane's a combat indicator. And your, your headwear, I'm wearing the uh, service dress stiff cap there. Again, with brass upon the front, but uh, it's comfortable. But uh, yours looks a little bit heavier, a little bit more durable. Am I right? Yeah, the reason why we're worried is because it can stop a, a round, a, a 7.62 caliber round. And it has, in the past, been proven to save lives. Thanks, John Thompson. Thank you very much.